Hello everyone, welcome back, Severed is here, coming back with part 3 of What if Deku was in Waterbender. Now where we last left off, Izuku and his sensei Aman has gone into an underground fighting club to start their revolution or their army, as Izuku has been fought against Blight, a villain that has been using his power to kill others and is stealing money out of banks. In the end, Izuku managed to defeat him and covering him with ice, stopping him from using his cork. And after that, Aman just jumped down and took his cork away by just deleting it, uh, you know, deleting it temporarily, not temporarily, but um, forever, just like he always you in the normal show in Avatar, how he managed to took someone Bender's Bender away or something like that. I'm just gonna let him do that to the uh, people with quirks. In the end, he managed to do that and everyone putting the lights on him and on Izuku, he starts explaining about equality and how this world is not fair for those that are weaker or even without power in the first place. And in the end, he said, told everyone that he is Amand and he is the solution and this is his successor. But, which of course I named Izuku on his villain name, technically. I named him, uh, let me remember, Suffocate, yes. As he said, and this is my successor, Suffocate. And we are the solution. Now, join us. Join the equalist. As, now we continue. Don't forget like, subscribe, and let's continue. And after that, Izuku and Aman still standing in the middle of the arena while the lights on their heads. And after that, a couple of people start screaming with their name, telling them, yeah, we are with you and everything, and they just standing up. Izuku looking around, seeing how the people start reacting to his sensei or his master words. And he said, they are actually doing it. As um, Aman said, you see Izuku with a couple of nice words. And to give someone a dream, it's the way that you will be able to f make them follow you into the end of the earth and after that more people coming down the arena and of course Aman told Izuku get a, told him in his ear saying all right you should go back into your home now now I'm gonna take care of all of this from here Izuku go out from from here and don't maybe take off your mask after you getting a little bit away because don't let any police or heroes seeing you Yes, sensei. And after that, Izuku just leave the arena. Some people just touching them and just screaming with his name. Because he's the successor or at least the right hand man to Aman at this point. Aman's still there and explaining some things and just manipulating the people or giving them a dream and things like that. You know, doing what Aman normally do. As Izuku has gone into his home and sleep for the night. As Izuku waking up in the morning and immediately jump out of his desk and just cover himself with water as fast as possible and just, you know, wash himself and got on the, the you know, table to eat his breakfast as he said, good morning, mom, as Inko said, oh, Izuku, good morning, are you excited for your first day on UA? As Izuku immediately stopped eating, saying, um, UA? As Izuku remembered that he actually, you know, got into UA and said, shit. I was I wanted to go and to meet Sensei t tomorrow, but t today. But looks like I have a school. Uh, well, I, I think Sensei will have to wait. And after that, Izuku said, "Oh yeah, the school, yeah." All right, mom, I'm going. And Izuku just wearing his school uniform and go to U A. As he walking in and finally found out the place, opening the door, seeing all the people inside, and after that. He hear a sound from behind saying, wait, I know this blue haired kid. As he turn around, he see, as he see Uraka. As Uraka said, thank you for saving me in the entrance exam. And thank you for healing me. Oh, it's not a big deal. Well, we should go into the class. And after that, he hear a sound from behind saying, yeah, you sure do. Because if you want to make friends, how about you just leave? As Izuku looking on the ground, he see Aizawa. As Aizawa said, alright, go inside. 
and he just uh, got out of his sleeping bag and Izuku said and who are you are you some sort of a homeless guy do I look like a homeless guy to you yes you kind of do well I'm I'm sad to say this to you but I'm your homeroom teacher Shota Aizawa and get into the class now as Izuku and Araka sit in the class and Aizawa said it took you all eight minutes to shut the fuck up and after that Aizawa said well wear this gym uniform and meet you outside all right as Izuku taking one of the gym uniforms and go to the changing room in the changing room Izuku just changing his clothes and you know just keeping his mask with him for some time as Kirishima came to him and said yo man what is this as Izuku immediately hiding the mask and said um, nothing it's just you know something that I wear for the Halloween oh really cool hey my name is Kirishima what's your name Izuku Midoriya nice to meet you Kirishima and after that Bakugo is still looking angry at Izuku from far away Izuku cl closing his closet and he look on his right he see Maneta just uh, saying, hey guys, I found a hole on the girl's changing room. Do you want to see? As Ida just telling him not to look through the hole and Mineta said, stop me if you can. But before he look, his head being covered with water and Izuku said, well, I'm going to stop you there. As after that, Mineta starts suffocating. And of course, Kamunari, the one with the electricity quirk, the one with the yellow hair said, yo man, you will going to kill him. As Izuku said, oh, really? Well, too bad. As Izuku starts suffocating Mineta while Mineta's just trying to breathe while Ida said, stop this Midoriya, you will gonna kill him. Well, he deserved to be hurt. Someone need to to punish him for his, for his actions. And I'm gonna be the one to do that. As Mineta fall on the ground and Kamunari said, come on, stop already. As Izuku just stopped and Mineta starts coughing water saying, Alright, alright, I'll never gonna do this again, just please leave me. As Izuku said, yeah, that's what I thought. And using what left out of the water, putting it inside the hole and turn it into ice. As Baku said, huh, so you started to bully others just because you got yourself a fancy quirk. And what kind of quirk is just water? Don't think yourself better than me, Deku. I'm still gonna beat the living shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, angry Pomeranian looking boy. The only one that will gonna beat you here is me. Just wait until I'm gonna fucking blow your heads up with water. The water will gonna defeat you. I'm gonna suffocate you to death, Bakugo, one day. Just wait. As Kirishima said, all right, everyone, I think we should calm down. Izuku, you need to say sorry to Mineta. And why should I say sorry to him? He was doing something wrong and I punished him for that something wrong. It's not, it's not fair for the girls just to have someone like him following, their, following them around, right? Someone need to step in and I was the one that, to do that. Someone need to start something. If everyone will just gonna sit and watch, then who will gonna help? Th that's why we are trying to be heroes, right? To help others when others don't help in the first place. Or maybe this is just me. Anyways, I meet you outside, Kirishima. As Kirishima said, Oh, yes, that kinda was hurt me a little bit, but... All right, everyone, let's just get outside before Aizawa kick our asses out of you, eh? As everyone just go outside and Aizawa said, huh. All right, kids, we will gonna do a quirk apprehension test. And for the first place to throw the ball, come in front. As after that, Izuku and Bakugo just walk in front of each other. You know, Baku said, huh, why are you walking? He said the first place. And you are basically not the first. Oh, really? Maybe you should ask him. As Aizawa looking in his phone and said, Well, as Izuku Midori has, tech, has got the first place in the entrance exam. Bakugo, go back. What? This asshole got the first place? How? <sighs> How? As Izuku said, I basically did what everyone other do. 
just save a couple of people and destroy the robots. Is that something big? I as Baku said, yeah, how you cheated, right? I didn't cheat. I just do whatever. I just do the one thing that you will never gonna be able to do, Bakugo. Saving others from danger. That's the real meaning of being a hero, right? As Aizawa said, all right, both of you, calm down. Bakugo, go back. Midoriya, throw the ball as hard as you can with your quirk. As Izuku taking a little bit of water from the his bottle and just cover the ball and just start levitating and levitating the ball in the air which making him technically get infinity as i was seeing this he said huh infinity Con good work izuku as buck getting angry and immediately go at izuku to throw a bomb explosion at his face but i catch him before that happened and said katsuki bakugo if you really want to get your chance how about you wait and if you ever attack young Midoriya again, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you out of you A, understand? Now if you really want to throw the ball so much, how about you be the next one? As Bakugo throwing the ball and he actually didn't get higher than Izuka of course. And the other couple of tets, you know, tets uh tet, whatever, he just take uh, Izuku and the 15 meter dash he just starts sliding with ice or maybe even water and the jumping part i kind of seeing him trying you know to take some water out of the water pipes around of him from the building or something like that and just make for him some a tornado of water under his feet li lifting him up in the air or something like that and that's a strength enhancement or you know a strength uh, part he just cover his hand with water turning it and turn it into ice and just pushing himself you know pushing his hand forward using a water in his uh, shoulder or something like that just creating like a, a rocket basically of water or something like that in the end Aizawa showing everyone the result Izuku got third place Baku got fourth and of course the other two is first place uh, the one that girl Momo and the second one Todoroki as Bakugo screaming and Izuku face said, How did you get a quirk, Deku? I'm not gonna tell you anything, Bakugo, so leave me alone. As Aizo said, Well, congratulations, everyone, and Mineta, you're out of here. As Mineta start, start just bleeding for Aizo to put him in UA, but he just refused. In the end, everyone starts walking away while Bakugo starts following Izuku, seeing him running so happy, actually as he finally found him running into a waterfall and after that Izuku starts walking on the water box and what he can walk on water but before Izuku opened the river or you know the waterfall Bakugo accidentally step on a little wood which making Izuku immediately turn around and throwing such a, a wave of water at Bakugo Bakugo trying to protect himself but he can't protect himself from water as he being covered in water and Izuku immediately turning the water into ice and he come closer into Baku and said What are you doing here Katsuki? Tch, get this fucking ice off of me Deku! I'm not gonna take it off until you tell me what are you doing here? Why are you here following me around? I want to fucking know how did you get to quirk? Tell me! And fucking leave- get this fucking ice off of me now! Oh, or what? What are you gonna do? As Izuku just making sure the ice will be cold enough to stop Bakugo from sweating, which will gonna activate his explosions. If Bakugo can't sweat, he can throw an explosion, or at least he can't throw a strong explosion. As Bakugo said, Come on, come on already! As Izuku said, Your fucking explosion won't work on me. Just a basic drop of my water covering you is enough for you to lose the fight, Bakugo. You will never be able to defeat me. As after that, Izuku just punching Bakugo face and said, Huh, come on, throw an explosion. As Izuku just smiling at Bakugo, lean, leaning his head into the left a little bit. As Bakugo said, You fucking asshole, just get me out of this ice, I'm gonna beat your ass. As Izuku said, Sorry, but I have, but you should leave. And baby, tomorrow I'm gonna tell you about my quirk in, in UA, alright? As Buck said, all right.
you will gonna promise me that you will gonna tell me about your quirk late. All right, Deku. All right, Bakugo. See you around. As Izuku just uh, taking off the eyes of Bakugo, and just uh, make let Bakugo leave the place. In the end. After that, Izuku turned around to go to open the waterfall, but the waterfall opened by itself, revealing none other than Aman, and, or no, not Aman, I meant to see a weird looking guys that wearing a weird mask, as they immediately go at Izuku and start fighting him, Izuku start uh, defending himself using water and ice, as he said, who are you and what are you doing in the hideout? As Izuku start throwing water at them and capture two of them as the third one, Izuku capturing him and immediately make like a, a sword of ice on his hand and said, Tell me, where is my master? As after that, Oman come fr from the waterfall and said, Calm down, Midoriya, it's me. There is no need to rush. As Izuku said, Sensei, who are these? As Izuku looking back on those guys, which is looking like this... Aman said, those, those are the, equ the equalist, they are will be our army, they are a bunch of people that we, our ideas and our goals has been something they really want to help us with, and they has joined us in our fight against the heroes and this society, Midoriya, now I would wish from you to leave them, as easy could just leave them, and the equalers come closer to Izuku and one of them said, So you are the master right hand man or his successor? As the other one said, We are so honored to be helping you in your goal to help the society and build it again. We've been, we've been treated like trash from the society, but you and your master and or you know, the master or the boss has helped us, helped us, told us and teaches us some things new that we never thought that we were gonna ner learn and you give us a new goal so i wish that you will gonna accept us as your new army young uh, midoriya as izuku said um thank you um sensei so what were you doing in the last day i'm sorry because i didn't come i had the school of ua just like you told me to go to oh yes midoriya did you got any good information of you, eh? Well, I got a couple of quirks of the people there, and Katsuki Baku goes there too. Oh, I understand, Midoriya, don't worry, you'll... One day, I'm gonna take his power away from him to make him feel the same feeling that you felt when you were just an, a little kid. And after that, Izuku going inside the hideout with the other equalers as he just looking around. He's seeing the hideout much bigger than before. It looks like they were working to, you know, just uh, break more and make and you know build more space inside the hideout to put more, uh, of course, equalers. As Izuku seeing a lots of people, some of them trying a new kind of electric gloves, some of them trying uh, some sort of robots and. Some things are really, really fascinating things, as Izuku said. You done all of this in just one night, Sensei. This is great. Yes, Midoriya, I done this in all one night. But this is not only my work. This is also yours. You have helped me a lot, and one day our dreams will be true, Izuku. One day this world will gonna be a, an equal place to everyone. Everyone that has been treated differently, like you and other many. And this is all not only for me, this is all for us, Izuku. As Izuku said, thank you, Sensei. Well, how about you just go around and see what we've been working on and maybe have a new couple of friends. We have here a couple of people, they are using a couple of quirks. So, you might have meet a new friends here, here or there. And I suggest you start with her, as he pointed at a girl, and Izuku said, Alright, as Izuku go into that girl, and Izuku said, Um, hello, as he's seeing in front of him, a girl that looking like this. As the girl said, oh, hey, hello, 
are you the boss right hand man or successor oh yeah that's kind of what they call me but my name is izuku what's your name oh my name is luke's luke you know luca as and you know it's nice to meet you as izuku said well luca nice to meet you too and i really don't know about luca this weird name that i just literally make in the one second that i also in, you know introduced her i really don't know do you want me guys to change it or maybe you give me your own names because i kind of want to see what your imagination can do as izuku said so uh, what's your quirk the bot sensei told me that you have a quirk what is it oh my quirk is kind of simple i call it mirror image I can reflect any attack back on my opponent and also I can create a, a new kind of image from the person that I look at by just putting a mirror in front of him which is I can turn the air around me and make it so solid into the point of becoming like a real mirror and when someone looking into that mirror he will gonna see his reflect reflection and the reflection will be uh, the absolute opposite of that one person if I fought it against a hero I can reflect his reflection inside a mirror and create a, a version of himself will gonna be a villain if I saw something that is uh, so weak I can make an um, you know a version of it f using my mirror image and make it something like so strong like a car that having a very weak engine it will be such a strong engine if I, you know, made a, a mirror image to it. As Izuku, you know, hearing this, he's quite, you know, don't understand, but at the same time, quite so, you know, really, really fascinating. And I'm sorry, guys, if you didn't understand anything from what I said, because I myself don't understand what I just said, and I really don't understand why am I existing in the first place. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> Izuku said, wow, this is such an awesome quirk, can you explain it more to me? As, you know, Luca said, um, uh, alright, just, uh, can you get a little bit away? As Izuku said, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I kinda go very, very, kinda, I really love quirks, it's my hobby, and I, v v you know, put a lot of, the, of them in my notebook, sorry for talking weird, as Luca said, no, no, it's not a problem. Here, as she just uh, giving Izuku a, a little orange juice, and after that, just uh, hardening the air in front of the orange juice, and just making a, a mirror image of it. As after that, Izuku taking the um, the mirror image of the juice, and she take the real one. As they start drinking, Izuku immediately throwing it, throwing it up, saying, T "What the hell? What is this?" As she said, "Sorry, it's disgusting, right?" Eh, just like I expected, as Izuku said, oh yeah, you're a mirror image. Well, but they actually real, which actually fascinating. You're making a real version? What happened if you were gonna make, you know, a version of someone that is actually a human or an animal? Is that reflection will gonna be alive? Yeah, it will be alive. And it will gonna have its own personality and its own thoughts he will gonna be a totally different person normally the i don't go for reflection my enemies and creating a new version of them because it's kind of a sword with two and uh, you know a sword with two ending whatever you know it's just something too complicated i normally go for ref reflecting the damage of my enemies on them or something like that, as she just explaining her quirk to Izuku while Izuku's just listening to this and put it inside his notebook. And, you know, Aman is just looking at this from far away. And, do not leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this part, and what do you think will gonna happen the next part. Well, I have nothing more to say than Severed was here. I was